Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to see if we can redeem ourselves and make another wig wag. Start by centering your shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. Using a washable marker and a piece of kite string, mark out your guidelines. And I think I did these every four inches. I forgot to hit record. I needed to go over them and make them darker anyways, but this is how I did it. Now you want to pleat along these lines and you want to make the lines as straight as possible. And you also want to make really small pleats if you can because that's going to help your dye saturate in. I want to say these are about a half inch, half inch to an inch. Yep, I even broke out the tweezers for this one. You know, you go through all the hard work of creating these shirts, you really want them to turn out. So I just felt like these pleats are so small, my fingers weren't able to make them. The tweezers really did help quite a bit.
I chose to secure this with kite string, but if you don't have kite string, you certainly could use rubber bands. It really is just a matter of preference. So the next part of this tutorial is watching me mark out the pattern and then start adding the die. And I'm just going to let you watch this and if I see something that I really need to like make a you know a mental note for you guys, I'll say it. Otherwise, I'm just going to let it play out. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's exactly the same for the other two wigwags that I did, the original wigwag and then the fail wigwag. So Let's cross our fingers and hope we can make this one work. I also just want to point out that I have sped this video up, I think times three, maybe times four. I am going extremely slow when I'm adding this die. For the sake of the tutorial, I've sped it up. I'm really taking my time to make sure that I'm getting my saturation and I want my lines to be accurate. So bear with me.
So it's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. As always, you want to start by using cold water. That's going to stop any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt and then gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol. I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft and then I put it in the dryer and we're going to come back and see our results. I think you're going to be pretty impressed. Well, here it is guys here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried and it turned out amazing so I definitely redeemed myself from the fail video so for those of you that gave me encouragement and said oh that's not a fail it's a great shirt well compared to this one that one was a fail this one still has a lot of room for improvement but overall I'm very pleased with it so I would say the moral to the story of this is just take your time and slow down. And you know, these shirts take like four hours to make and you get sick of it. You gotta keep adding the dye and get your saturation before you put it off to batch. What do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe leave a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.